While we've all heard about concepts like heat and temperature, how do we analyze these concepts and others in AP Physics 2? Thermodynamics, or the study of heat and other forms of energy, is extremely different from any other physics unit from before. There are lots of new concepts, equations, and diagrams that we need to familiarize ourselves with, so let's walk through step by step, starting with the idea of an ideal gas. The majority of our thermodynamics unit will revolve around ideal gases, or gases that are composed of tiny, light, point-like gas particles that collide elastically among themselves and against any container walls that they may be trapped in. Essentially, while the containers of gas we study will contain countless individual gas particles all traveling at different velocities, we can generalize the entire system of the container into a couple of properties and formulas. One property of ideal gases is temperature, or a measure of the average kinetic energy of all the gas particles. While each gas particle technically moves at a different speed, the average kinetic energy is equal to 3 halves times the temperature times a constant known as the Boltzmann's constant, which has a value given here. Another important concept related to ideal gases is pressure, which measures the average force per unit area that the gas particles provide while colliding with the walls of their container. These quantities along with others are related in arguably the most famous and important gas equation, the ideal gas law. This equation provides a relationship between pressure, volume, a universal gas constant, temperature, and the number of moles of gas, where one mole contains Avogadro's number, or this many, molecules of gas. Now, ideal gases have an internal energy associated with them as well, represented by the letter U. This internal energy can change if work is done. The work done on a system is given by the negative pressure times the change in volume. For example, if I were to press down on this piston, reducing the volume, I would do work on this system, whereas if the gas pressure pushed the piston up, the system would have done work on its surroundings. Another quantity that can change the internal energy of a system is heat, or Q leading to this energy conservation equation that the change in internal energy is the sum of the work done on the system plus the heat added to the system. The best way to represent these quantities like pressure, volume, and work is through what's known as a PV diagram. With pressure on the y-axis and volume on the x-axis, a system of ideal gas can undergo many different processes which can be shown through different curves on this diagram. The work done by any of these processes is simply the area under the curve, and the multiple processes done repeatedly can create thermodynamic cycles, but all of these conditions and processes will be given explicitly to you during the problem. One final thermodynamic concept that does not necessarily have to do with ideal gases is known as conduction, or the transfer of heat through a substance. The rate of this heat change, or the power, is given by this equation here, related to the change of temperature across the substance, the dimensions, and the thermal conductivity of the material. Thermodynamics, in my honest opinion, is one of the most hard to grasp units in all of high school physics. It involves an entirely new system of objects, new concepts, and new properties. However, if you commit these equations and properties to memory and familiarize yourself with the PV diagrams explained before, this quite abstract unit will become much, much clearer. With that, you can feel good that you just finished learning about thermodynamics and ideal gases.